Hello and welcome all as we wait for the start of a match amongst the most anticipated fixtures over the course of the entire season. A day certainly not for the faint-hearted. It is yet another edition of this long-standing conflict between two sides engaged in a never-ending rivalry. One that never has and never will lose its intensity no matter what the context, no matter how many times these two clubs meet. The Emirates Stadium in all its glorious modernity, this symbol of new Arsenal, the Arsenal of the 21st century. This is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. Well, in games of this nature, as a player, Peter, you only want to work as hard as demanded. You don't want to have to go at it full pelt. But when the opposition is what it is, all of that kind of goes out the window. The challenge here will ask more of you, and so both teams will, will wish to, to give more than they take. It's one of those games, Peter, where if the opposition increase their effort, you have to follow it. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Thiago Silva. He's a player who doesn't seem to have any weaknesses at all, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's technically gifted and very comfortable in possession. What I particularly find impressive about him, though, is his consistency and his reliability. He just never seems to, to make a mistake. Opposition strikers could be in for... A hard time of it today. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Kovacic. Jorginho. Raspilicueta. Rudiger. Hoists it forward. That's Pelicueta. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Tries to get it forward quickly. Things have been frenetic in the early part of this game. A lot of action high up the pitch. Well, both sides have actually looked poor going forward. We've hardly seen anything meaningful yet. Lovely bit of skill there. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Jorginho. Chelsea getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. And he's going long. And it's Kovacic. And here's Lukaku. And he heaves it forward. They get a throw in. Good idea, just poorly executed. And it's played forward. Chambers. Oh, that's nice. Oh, well played. He saw that coming. 
A real chance to break. Lukaku tries lifting it over. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal saving. Tierney. Xhaka plays it forward. And that has put a stop to that. Christensen. Not long till half time, and it is still goalless. Lukaku. Lukaku unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. We've got five minutes till half time. Forward it goes. And it's a shameless. And he's certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Rudiger and the referee brings the first half to a close so another team has broken through but certainly not for the want of trying it's been an interesting game up to now but still goalless what do you think we're up to after 45 minutes well this has proved a very frustrating day so far especially for the strikers nothing has been created for them I think the service has been extremely poor no goals at this stage but certainly not devoid of action it is nil-nil here at half-time. And we're off again. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Lukaku really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. Rudiger does well to read it and intercepts. Christensen. Kovacic. Thiago Silva. Jorginho plays it forward. Granit Xhaka, Tierney, hoists it forward, it's found its way to him, he's away, shot a goal, good stop, that wasn't easy, Aubameyang simply didn't do anything wrong, he was thwarted by brilliance, Christensen, Back to the keeper. Quick pull forward. Lukaku tried to play it through. Uh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Goes direct to the front line. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Christensen. And here's Lukaku, going through, a oh, well played, he's taken that really cleanly, Christensen cuts it out, Jorginho, Kovacic, well the crowd clearly like what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending, and it's Conte, An absolute thunderbolt! 
sumptuous finish, an absolute joy. And late in the day, a telling moment. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching back. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Time for a change of personnel. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. So we have our breakthrough. The perfect display, and the old saying comes to mind, when the going gets tough, etc. Hector Bayerin. Saka gets it out to the wing. Arsenal are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Conte. Kovacic. Conte. Kante goes looking. Tries to get it clear. Rudiger. It is looking like the end. If anything's going to happen, it's got to happen now. They need something heroic now, or a lucky break, or a kind refereeing decision. Anything. And it's played forward. Defending was strong and firm. Arsenal need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Marcos Alonso. And here's Lukaku. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Is the guilty party there? Tiago Silva lobs it in gently. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Tierney. And that is that. Always in the balance. And in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. The end of the game. Reflections? Yeah, and we know that derbies can often make predictions look silly. They can take on a, a personality of their own, and this one didn't really deserve to have a loser. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin, and goodbye from us.